Now let's say we're given a table. To find out the equation to represent the relationship from a table, we're going to once again have to find what m is equal to, we're going to have to find what b is equal to, so that then we can create our equation. So b would be really easy if when we looked at x on the table we would see a 0. We could take the y value and that would be b. I don't see any 0 on our chores, which is x, which means b is not going to be just given to us. Instead, we're going to have to take two points to find our m. So m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. These are all points that we could work with. So our context shows us this point and this point where doing 11 chores earns us $25, doing 13 chores earns us $29. They are all points to work with. So if I wanted to, I could work with the last two. I could take 14, 31, and I could take 15, 33. We have our x1, y1, x2, y2. So I can plug that in. y2 is 33 minus y1 is 31 over x2 is 15 minus x1 is 14. 33 take away 31 is 2. 15 take away 4 is 1. I could also look at it as what is the change in y as we keep increasing? 23 to 25, we're increasing by 2. 25 to 27, we're increasing by 2. 27 to 29, increase of 2. 29 to 31, we're increasing by 2. 31 to 33, we're increasing by 2. The slope, or m, is the change in y over the change in x. And what we're seeing is our change in y, we keep increasing by 2. On our x's, we keep increasing 10 to 11 to 12 to 13, 14, 15. We're increasing by 1's all the way down. So we get it's 2 over 1, which is exactly what we got when we did the equation using two points. Either way, m is 2. Because we're not given an x of 0, we don't know what y is at that point. So to find our b, our y-intercept, we're going to pick a point and plug it in to y equals mx plus b with our slope of 2. So we can work with our first point. It doesn't matter which one we use. So we have x and y. y is going to be 23 equals our slope of 2. x is 10 plus b. 2 times 10 is 20. Bring everything else down. 23 equals 20 plus b. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides to get b alone. 20 take away 20 is gone. We're left with a b on the right side. 23 take away 20 is 3. b is 3. So y equals mx plus b. We now know m. We know b. We can plug them in. y equals 2x plus 3. We're saying our beginning amount when x is 0, we haven't done any chores, you're going to get paid $3. And then, as we increase on the chores, we're going to get two more dollars. That is what this equation is telling us based on our context and our table.